With the new semester starting, parents are focused on getting their kids the highest quality education. But in this coming school year, there's a new piece of technology that has caught the attention of both educators and parents. Zach Lashway is with us to talk about how artificial intelligence has the potential to hurt or help, I guess. One or the other, maybe, maybe somewhere in the middle. How you doing? Yeah, this is pretty wild. This was not around when we were back in the classroom, but it is today. Uh, new software like ChatGPT uses generative AI to create original content. Students can use AI to complete a wide variety of tasks, solve math problems, answer questions, and even write essays for them. With this wide ranging capability, educators, parents, and students are both fascinated and concerned. At one time, it might have been something right out of a sci-fi futuristic film. Artificial intelligence. How do you want to manage all the after-school clubs that you have? Today, AI is the subject of conversation at dinner tables across the country. Asa Nahadi is the proud parent of an accomplished high schooler. Asa, a data scientist, believes AI is a powerful tool. If used hand-in-hand -hand with educators, holds the potential to improve the quality of education. Each kid can learn based on their speed, how fast and slow they are in learning. It would be very beneficial for the whole education system. But at this present moment, Asa does not believe AI should be used in the classroom. Based on what I can see right now, we should say no because they don't have any tracking system. They don't have any, you know, plan for that. Asa does believe schools need to be ready to adapt and eventually implement these tools. They need to make sure that they don't stay behind. We need to be one step ahead of the children to be a good mentor, to protect them, to support them. It's very primitive right now and it doesn't really have any benefits for me to use other than like experimenting. Hooter Rad is Asa's daughter and is a high school student at Katie ISD. She does not believe AI is a concern right now, but down the road could be. I do think that it's going to be a problem in that in the sense that most more people are going to try to use it and are going to attempt to cheat and that's going to be a problem. The technology's fast-paced development has caught the attention of educators. Jonathan Frischman is a Houston area high school teacher. I had to have a candid discussion with my students and tell them, you know, if we are going to accept that this is a thing, we have to understand it. We have to be responsible in our usage of it. Did I have issues with students using it inappropriately and committing acts of academic dishonesty? I absolutely did. But um, I'm still taking a cautiously optimistic view with the hope that we are able to um, develop AI responsibly. So that was Mr. Frischman we just heard from. He believes AI has potential to level the playing field for students with less access to educational resources. All very interesting, fascinating, and of course, AI continues to evolve, not only in this industry for education, but all industries across the board. I know. Yeah, we keep seeing, you know, whether it's uh, creative production, even video editing, I mean, all this stuff. Right, it's can like do wild. much everything. Crazy. All right, kind of scary, but interesting. Thanks, Zach. <laughs>